Okay, I think we are back live. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, let's get ready to go. So uh, here's how it works. Uh, thank you, Reagan, for jumping in with Dog. I don't know who else we have here today, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the other part of that, Dog. And um, let's see, what animal do I want to throw into the mix today? How about Dog and Fish? Dog and fish. All right. So we're going to start with the head of a dog. Do more than two. Okay. Do you have another suggestion to add into the max? It might just be me and you here today. I see a few more coming in. Uh, Llama. Thank you, Kelsey. Glad you're joining us. Oh, is John here? Hi, John. So uh, here's how this works. We're going to combine a couple different animals. We've got dog, llama, and fish fish for this one okay so starting with the dog get the pupils and the eyes um i will work in a glizzy goblin uh as my next drawing okay uh there's a nose i'm gonna add a little bit of that reflection in there just to let everybody know uh today's class a little bit shorter just because um, I have to go pick up my youngest daughter, so we'll run about 20 minutes today. Line up and dash, line in, line out, up, down, up. All right, we're going to give it a little floof of hair on top like a llama. Eyebrows, of course. All right, dog ears. Uh, come down a little bit. Out, down, letter U, in, one, two. For the other ear. Okay. A uh, long, fluffy neck. And a little bit of the body. Now, remember, we're combining this with a fish. So it's a llama, dog, fish. Got that? So we're going to give some fins. And some gills. All right, that's okay. We had some technical difficulties that let us a little bit behind today, anyhow. Um, again, shorter class today just because I have to uh, do some dad stuff. Other fin, out, down, in, one, two. And again, that little bit of a fluffiness that we see llamas have. And then out. In a couple little markings like this, and then the other ear right back here. Now, part of the fun is naming these. Um, so, we've got a dog llama fish, um, so we'll call it a uh, dom dama. Domish. <laughs> That's a dog llama fish, a Domish. Sign your name. Take pride in your work. All right. That's number one. Okay, next one. Uh, for those of you who've never done this before, what it is, we you shout out suggestions of a single individual animal, one animal or creature, uh, such as unicorns and stuff. Thank you, Kelsey. You've got it. A hedgehog. Now, we have an unusual one. We have something called a glizzy goblin. Um, that is from urban folklore. And that's a person or creature that loves to eat lots of hot dogs. Um, gobbles down hot dogs. So, so we've got a hedgehog, a glizzy goblin, <laughs> and, and Aria wants me to work in a baby Yoda. Well, why not when we're doing something like this? Let's do it. All right. So we've got Glizzy Goblin, 
a hedgehog and a baby Yoda. No idea how this is going to turn out. All right, let's start with um, eyes like baby Yoda. Okay. So you got real big eyes, and then you two little circles in there, and you're going to color in or shade in like that. Okay. Um, let's give it more of a hedgehog nose. So two lines out, around, in. We've got to make that mouth uh, kind of wide open. So chubby cheeks there. And then out, up, down, in. Mouth going to be wide open to gobble up lots of food there. There's the tongue. Okay. Um, let's do the hedgehog, top of the head, and then baby Yoda ears. Out, point in, out, point in. A couple little hairs. Let's flip that out, point in, and then some little wrinkles like Baby Yoda. Now we're going to continue the body like a hedgehog. So zigzag, zigzag, little feet like a hedgehog, it's a number three and connect and then add two paws. We'll do arms like, um, I guess quirk kind of like Baby Yoda would have. Little claws on the end there. And then connect. I don't know if this is cute, or gross. Maybe a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. The other foot just sort of sticks out here like that. Now, now we got to make a, eating a hot dog. So we come up, around, and down, and in. And then a thin line here that forms sort of the curvature or top of the bun to add a little bit of depth. And then we see the hot dog and other part of the bun. Now just back here a little bit you see a part of the arm. I'm making a splash of color here. I feel like the hot dog could use a little color too. Uh, and then just a little bit of texture. I think this is actually, we've created a new creature, and I think it's kind of cute. I'll be honest, I like it. That is a hedge gob Yoda. Yeah, or baby hedge goblin. I like baby hedge goblin. Baby hedge goblin. Baby hedge goblin. <laughs> All right, good suggestions, everybody. As always, sign your name. Take pride in your work. Okay, good suggestions. What do we got next? We need, uh, we're doing three today. We're doing combos of three. So that means I need three different people, if we have it, three different people to shout out three different things. Oh, we're sticking with the Star Wars theme. So I've got a Chewbacca, a blue whale. Oh, my goodness. Chewbacca, blue whale. Who's got one more for me? Who has got one more for me? I've got Chewbacca, Blue Whale, and Penguin. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. This is going to be a fun one. Chewbacca, Blue Whale, and Penguin. All right. Let's start with the eyes. Big circle. Big circle. Period. Period. I've really got to think about this one as we go. 
Um, a beak like a penguin. In, up, dash, out, in, out, up, around, and then a thin line like this. And there, okay. All right. Um, let's see, uh, bushy eyebrows like, uh, Chewbacca and fur like Chewbacca. I feel like we need to give Chewbacca's bandolero. That's that little thing he wears like this. So line up, rectangle, line up, rectangle, line up. Okay. Uh, fins like a whale. But let's make, and then let's add some fur right there. Let's make those fins. Um, let's do this. Add a little line here across the top. And then, yeah, color in the bottom part like it's a penguin. Okay. Let's do something similar here with the face. Let's do this. Yeah, that's some markings, a little bit like a penguin. A chew penguin, Aria. That's an excellent, excellent suggestion. Chew penguin. All right, continue. And same thing, add just the fur at the back end and then add the fin and let's make, let's color that in too. There we go. And then maybe there's a little blowhole there and a dorsal fin. Color in the dorsal fin. That is Chu Pengwell. My goodness, that's an interesting one. Okay. Chu Pengwell. Well, I've got time for one more. What do we got, everybody? One more today. Uh, oh, I want to remind everybody, I'm doing some new classes through the Charles M. Schultz Museum. So, um... Check them out. What I've done is I've taken the very best of these classes and we're expanding them to one hour long and there's more interaction because they're on Zoom. So check those out. All right, raccoon, thank you. Raccoon, elephant, good. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Raccoon, elephant, and pumpkin. Love it, mix it up. Let's go with a plant. Raccoon, elephant, pumpkin all right no idea what we're doing here let's go so let's um let's start with a shape like this i'm leaving a few little gaps in here aria asked when am i rescheduling the in-person class two uh, i'm looking at a saturday in september i have to find a new venue um uh, Saturday in September, so so this upcoming month. I will keep everyone posted. All right, let's do an elephant's trunk here. So I come up, out, doesn't matter, your line doesn't have to match mine, and then I have this little teardrop shape at the end.
Okay. And then a little line here. You can connect here. And then, oh, what? I got a fun idea. I don't know if this is going to work. Come down. Add a little square like that. And then up. Yeah. And then a little line for depth. Kind of like a jack-o'-lantern. And then shade that in. Good. I'm going to stick around a little bit because I want to finish this up. But I'm running late, so. A uh, couple of lines of the trunk. Now, um, let's give it a mask like a raccoon. Shade that in. <laughs> this is the strangest thing. You guys come up with some pretty wild stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, little ears like a raccoon. How about a stem like a pumpkin? So I drew a little circle, line down, line down. Let's give it legs like an elephant. So down, uh, out, over, up. So down, over, up. Hind legs down, over, up. Down, over, up. I'm going to run a little bit longer than I thought, but I really don't want to leave this one. It's such a good one. Um, toenails. And then little wrinkles in the knees. It is very creepy. There's no way for this not to be cre creepy. It's a, a pumpkin raccoon elephant. That's disturbing. A little bit of texture on the pumpkin. Just thin little lines like this. Raccoon tail would finish it out. Yes. And I feel like it just wouldn't be complete without a little bit of color. Um, yeah, we got to go with some a nice orange here. <laughs> Oh, I'm spending way too much time on this one. Um, but I feel like I have to. I'll go a little bit lighter on that. Uh, giving this way too much thought. But I can't help myself. It's such a funny looking creature that I feel like I've got to add some color to it. A little bit anyhow. That's fine. I won't overdo it. There we go. There is your, what did we call it? Uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin. I don't know how to pronounce that one. There we go. Pumpkin, elephant, and raccoon. That is bizarre. Thank you.